Now you look at manufacturing. So from 86, we've been growing for financial crisis, a temporary dip. Even SARS was a small dip, but this last year was a big one. Last year, the shop, shoppers dropped in the manufacturing output last year. Quite a big number. Next. So the government took action in January 2009. All this was taken, this covered spring-related financial reserves, of which was used a lot by spring saving jobs, uh, funded by spring. And the most important was in May 2009, they created the Economic Strategy Committee, which was chaired by Minister of Finance, Taman. Next. And this is Taman's structure. You all know about this. All of you are Singaporeans. I will go through, through. But the most important part of this, next, is here. These are two charts I shared with Taman. The most important chart of ESC is these two charts. The rest are irrelevant. People, you don't have good, highly skilled, diverse, bright people. Singapore will not grow. The limit is not infrastructure, roads, water we can uh, desalinize, but it's people. And this is key. So all these things we want to do is really people-related. Next. So the challenges are here. How to continue to create new clusters. I leave it to my success at EDB. But the most important is here. If you don't have human capital, you cannot sustain growth, you cannot go ahead. And that's key. Next. Now, to develop human capital, in 2005, I started a, a program in ASA to steal young people. I brought them to Singapore, India, in Vietnam, in 2005, at the age of 15, Sec 3. They were in Singapore schools, some in SGI. So they finished the A-level in 08, 05, 06, 07, 08. 09, she's now in Imperial College. She's in, doing medicine. She's doing pharmacy. She's doing life engineering. These are only three of them. But they start at 15. I call them the junior copies. So unless we take people, start them young here. Better still go younger which is SGI, uh, international, these are the groups. You really cannot create a future human capital. Without this human capital, you cannot get guppies, senior guppies, and young bears. Nothing will happen. So the key for us with all these things is really all people. Next. And this is where SGI comes in. SGI is in the business of developing human capital. Or like someone said, uh, the key for human capital is what goals you want to aim for. Michelangelo said, the greatest danger for most of us lies in not in setting our aim too high and falling short, but setting our aim too low, achieving our mark, which is below. So Singapore's attitude in the last 20 over years, when I was in EDB, A star, and still in spring, is always we do aim high. Now, many people think we are being too audacious, but really Singapore has no choice. We have no land, no food, no water, and the only choice is to remain to be a global city and keep moving up. Now, we dedicated people in different organizations over the past 40 years, excluding my 15 years been there. I played my little part. The key in all my work in the economic sector, excluding defense, is always people. Talented and committed people, and they are the key for a new economy. So in this new economy where we're trying to have, where changes are almost turning point, nobody can forecast the changes. No scenario planning uh, experts found the solutions to this turning point in 2009. And we must develop and nurture our young people so they are able to uh, take on the challenges. But at the same time, we must imbue in them a passion for Singapore, an entrepreneurial spirit anchored by sound values to help them navigate the opportunities and challenges ahead. Thus, it's important for us to support, continue supporting schools that make a difference for, to our education system in Singapore, especially in terms of adding to diversity and depth. Now, SGI and the Lhasa Brothers has always been special to Singapore. The brothers displayed much courage and unity in coming from afar to establish SGI in Singapore. And I was one in SGI for six years. Now, with the changes in the economy and the changing education landscape, the profile of SGI must also change, evolve to stay relevant. Now, these changes require additional resources. Here again, we must draw upon the same courage and unity as the Lhasa brothers in order to continue and advance the educational vision. It's thus important for us to keep this pursuit. Therefore, it's a pleasure for me to announce a courageous initiative by the old boys to set up SGI Foundation. And the SGI Foundation will provide a platform to support SGI and SGI International and also advance the sailing mission in Singapore and beyond. 
The immediate focus of the foundation is to raise $10 million, not a small sum, but respectable, to be used for the development of SGI International in educational projects. SGI International also joined SGI to offer scholarships up to 60 a year to en enroll promising young people from Singapore and from beyond in innovative learning programs leading to the IB Diploma. I am pleased to announce that the first million dollars has already been pledged by about 20 SGI old boys who need little position but some arm twisting to join us in this course. I hope the other 180 will come forward so we can make the 10 million target soon. With this, I look forward to your support. Thank you.